Welcome back everyone! Welcome back to Let's Play American Truck Simulator. We've just delivered a very heavy load and now we're gonna look for another job on the market. We are in Albuquerque. Ooh, don't wanna... don't wanna uh, get in the way of uh, Mr. White. Um, well there's a 40 ton bulldozer here. Oh, and it goes all the way... oh, oh, oh goes all the way to Yakima in Washington. Oh yeah, it's the right mouse button to change it. Uh, it would be nice if we also went to these places that we haven't been to yet. Fernal, that would be nice. That's the last place in Utah we haven't been to. A couple in Oregon, Eugene and Coos Bay, and Omak. I don't have Idaho or Colorado. Um, hmm. And that's the heaviest one, and again it's one of those trailers that I hate parking. I I would I should really take the time and actually learn how to properly maneuver these ones backwards because they are such a bastard. I would love some double or triple trailers. I don't think triple trailers are allowed here though. I think that's just Nevada, maybe Oregon. I'm not sure. Um, mercuric chloride, office supplies, milk. Silica. It's interesting that milk is in these box trailers instead of uh, cisterns. Home accessories, grain, lug nuts, fluffy dyes, frozen lamb. I do have the mod that uh, gives you a lot more stuff. A lot of different trailers, I believe. I don't think it actually models any aircraft engine. That's cool. It's only two tons, though. But if we go to Farmington, does anything go to Vernal? Uh, let's see, uh, Raton. Nothing, it seems. Wow. Does anything go there? Let's see if anything goes to Vernal here. Albuquerque. Nothing. This is just ridiculous. There's nothing that goes to Vernal. Look at this. Nothing. <laughs> Why does everyone hate that place? Here. Nothing. <laughs> I don't get it. Anyway, of course we're going to take the 40 tons bulldozer. We might actually make a detour and go to Vernal ourselves. Right mouse button. And I cannot zoom in to see. Uh, there is only one road here, small one, and then that one. Yeah, that's not great, but oh well. I think it's the same place that has this heavy bulldozer. Ready so let's take that. I believe... It is the same. Oh, yeah. I kind of have a trailer behind me. So, unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> yeah, look at this trailer. Look at how big it is. It's practically blocking the thing where we pick it up. Oh, we don't pick it up from this yard, our new trailer. Okay, that's fine. Oh, left. What? Oh yeah, we're going left. Oops. Go straight. Love the sound. Love the sound. Oh, and we have a green. Did you hear that? Oh, wait. Where am I going? <laughs> okay, never mind. Uh, I'm not paying attention at all. Been on the grass or whatever's left of it. Go. Turn uh. right, and then turn right. All right, gotcha. Now I turn right. Turn right. Love the sound. Love the sound so much. It's so good. 
Oh, this place is actually quite far. I thought it was practically in the town, but nope. Oh no, we actually stay on this one, because we're getting off there. Oh, the highway. Alrighty. Look at that, clutchless. Oh no! We're not supposed to go down yet. <laughs> Shoot! What am I doing? Pay attention, man. That's a pretty cool off-ramp, though. Yeah, I should be looking if there's any traffic. That was completely illegal. So I'm supposed to go right there. Can I just keep going and go on to the... Keep right. Is this right? Was I not supposed to go further on? Oh, no, no, actually, this is fine. Look. It's just a different off-ramp along with that one. Oh yeah, because we'll be going back on the highway for a little bit. Okay, I get it. Come on. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, that was good. See, the problem is because I don't actually have the proper rain selector and uh, splitter switches on my shifter. The buttons are actually on my steering wheel when I'm turning the steering wheel a lot in the exit intersections left. like that. Uh, it's kind of difficult to reach them, so sometimes I cannot properly shift because of it. Power! It's an on-ramp. Why is it still 40 here? There we go. It's a pretty cool place, though. Look. Look how they modeled it. I just... I know I've said this many times before. I just really, really, really wish... Are we supposed to get off here? Yes, we are, I think. I just really, really, really wish that they would be able to squeeze much longer stretches of uh, hill climbs and descents into the game. I really think they're a lot of fun. <laughs> that turbo sound, turbo whoosh. Keep right, then exit right. Exit right. Uh, didn't really have my blinker on for that, but okay. Get ready to turn right. Turn right. Actually, up, oh, still green ish. Keep right, and then turn right. Alrighty. Turn right. It wasn't very smooth. You know, I'm starting to understand why a lot of truckers like to put really big exhausts on their uh, on their trucks. Now, I, I love the sound, but at the same time, if I had to drive every day like that, I don't know. I mean, wouldn't that really give you a lot of fatigue? It feels like it would, but I don't know. I see a lot of... Uh, owner operators with those large exhausts so eh, I suppose they don't mind it on long stretches turn right seems free where are we going here reset camera please Oh, wait a second, I think we've been here before. Yeah, because it's next to the railway line. Oh, yeah. I think we've been here before. Here we are. Kind of on time. Kind of on time? What do you mean? We weren't really pressed for time to be completely honest. 
There we go. There's a the heavy bulldozer. All right, good. They also got mercury chloride, which is going to Phoenix, Arizona. Home accessories, California. An aircraft engine to Farmington. All right, let's take the heavy bulldozer. Okay, here we go. And there's the trailer. Can I go in here? I suppose I can. <clears throat> Your trailer's ready. Park it real nice. Oh, that was uh, not good enough. Come on. A little bit more. Come on, there's a job to do. Yeah, I know. I know, Geralt. We're going. I don't think we have any any monsters to kill, but we'll be fine. We got 30 hours to get there. I think we'll also sleep in the meantime. Okay. Let's get out of here. Now, fortunately, I don't really have to look if the road is free because these roads never get any traffic ever so turn left you don't got to worry about it well, there's actually someone there i should have actually blinked at him with my uh, high beams telling him it's okay to go cuz i do believe they do that if you stop for them Sound. Yes, I know, I've said it every time now. Turn right. And you see how heavy this thing is? I'm gonna have to do this wide so the left is clear and the right, of course, it's not clear. Come on. Just just wait a little bit. Thank you. See? Even going wide like that. The trailer just makes it. I suppose with a... Well, this is... Is it a wide load? It's more like a... Very heavy load. So I don't think I need the oversized load on... Well, they, I probably would. Real truckers would tell me. Or would be able to tell me. And yes, I, I think real truckers would also tell you that... You'd probably get fined for using... Uh, the exhaust brake inside a city. I, I don't know if they're... maybe they're allowed in uh, industrial estates or environments. Where are you going, man? Are you letting me through? Thank you. Okay, that was a bit too much. <laughs> uh, where are we going? Next left, okay. Um, yeah, you're not supposed to use the exhaust brakes in uh, residential areas. So I, I suppose that didn't really count as a residential area. Actually, you know what, just stay in three. <laughs> Love it! Love it! Love it so much. Oh, that was a nice sound. Did you hear that? I think there's a nice V8 behind us there some somewhere. There we go. I'm actually surprised. I'm used to traffic appearing now and blocking our way. But I think that's a... Yeah, that's of course a protected left, so... Power! See, this is what I like, struggling up hills and down hills. Power! Oh, I think we better turn on our lights, but I don't know if they're turned on now. 
I'll have to actually check from the outside. So watch out, it's gonna get a bit loud. You ready? Here we go. Oh, actually, it got quieter. Oh, shoot. There we go. Now they're on. I don't understand why there's no indicator on, on the dashboard that I have my lights on. And the actual dash, for some reason, is extremely dark. I have problems seeing it, and you probably have many more problems seeing it with a YouTube compression. So I don't understand what happened there, and I, I, I have looked through the options, graphical options, gameplay options, this, that, the, the key binds. I cannot find a way to adjust the brightness of the dash. I could swear there was an option for that before. Oh shoot, because this is going to be an exit only, come on. Come on. Let me through, truck. He's really not letting me through? Thanks, jeez. Yeah, because these are just exits. Very smoggy here. Or foggy, I'm not sure what it is. Albuquerque. Hopefully we don't meet Tuco or whatever. Oh, great. Why did they place that damn thing right there? Here, enjoy some exhaust brakes. What the heck was that, man? It's ridiculous. I know the road gets narrower, but damn. That was insane. And again, this lane will end into an exit only. So we have to hog the middle one. Yeah, a lot of the times I'm kinda kinda taken with uh, trucker YouTubers. Or not not so much YouTubers I suppose, just truck drivers that are posting their experiences of trucking online. I don't know, I just really enjoy watching them drive the trucks and, and all that stuff. Probably a very boring subject for many, but I don't know, I, al I always really liked big trucks. Probably something I should try at some point. If the pandemic doesn't force me into it. <laughs> Bloody pandemic. Uh, 66 is good. Now we could just go to the right lane, but I thought it was going to end. Oh, that's cool. Look at that little bridge. That's probably railway. Is it railway? It's a footpath? Right lane ends, of course. Come on. I gotta get left. I gotta get left. I have to get left, you blind moron. I mean, you know, technically it should have been me that was uh, slowing down, probably. Because that guy wouldn't be able to see the sign, most likely, and whatever, but... I, uh, it would have taken me a long time to accelerate again, lose all that momentum. Come on, power! West 40. Yeah, there's something weird going on with the lighting system. I thought I fixed it now because I disabled the realistic, li uh, realistic lighting. And I disabled the police lighting and flares. So I thought that would have fixed it, but... I don't know. Maybe it's the... Maybe it's the beacon thing I have, this thing. Because right now, let's see, this looks okay-ish. Very bright, of course, but... You see my dashboard? You can't see anything. 
Wait a second. No, 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 no. I remember now. Um, um. Oh, God, I'm getting another phone call. I don't have time for this. Uh, oops. Wait a second. There was a way to... No, not this. Shut up, phone. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, there's a way to adjust your... Adjust your seat and all of that, and I think that also includes the brightness of the dash. What are these guys doing? Uh, how do I get to that? Is it F4? Adjust seats, adjust mirrors, adjust lights. There we go. It's F4 indeed. Low beam, high beam, beacon, dashboard back. That's already almost... Oh, that's why I disabled it. I mean, uh, lowered it. Because these things get so bright. But look at the bloody instruments. Look. They're practically impossible to see. That's ridiculous. Wow. Okay. It's not very good. Oh. Oh, it's actually 75 here. What are these guys doing? I'm gonna have to go right back to the left lane. Uh-oh. No, come on. Please. See how bright that middle screen is now? And the instruments? Jeez. Come on! Power! We're probably gonna have to find a place to rest. Maybe to fill up as well in the meantime, so I'm gonna have to try and find a combination. That's some weird lighting effects up there with those brake lights. Very strange. Definitely this weird artifact, lighting artifact that the game is having. Let's see, I'm gonna have to go left. I'm just pushing throttle all the way because there's an incline here. Exactly. And now I can leave it to the cruise control. <coughs> and if I turn on the beacons now... Oh, jeez. Yeah. Definitely something wrong with that. Is there a rest stop already? So, I apologize to <laughs> anyone that might have epilep epilepsy. Uh, it looks okay, but it doesn't look like it's very truck friendly. Especially for such a huge trailer like ours. Because you have to get down here and then probably turn there I don't know that would have been that would be better but it doesn't have fuel that one does but it's a weird place uh, yeah well that's our best bet right now I think oh wait we need to go right oh okay we need to go right well there's a gas station there just on the other side this I will have to go to this one there's nothing else to it. So, um, yeah. We have to slow down. Those guys behind me will be very happy. I just passed them and now I'm brake checking them pretty much. Okay. Yeah! Clutch the subshift. Come on. Half a mile. Sorry about that, everyone behind me. Sorry. But that... That turn looks mighty sharp.
Yeah, that was a nice glitch in the sub shift. I'm just gonna take it slow here. Power! Okay, there we go. There's gonna be some traffic lights up there. Then we go right immediately. And yes, they do have these ones. Excellent. So I can go like this, take it real wide. That bloody box is in the way, and I'm sure you actually crash into it. Or maybe it works like uh, like a traffic thing or something, I don't know. Alright, let's get the fuel, which is actually extremely cheap. 228 for uh, diesel. In the U.S., that's... wow. Because the U.S. actually has diesel more expensive than, uh, than gas. Well, actually, it's gotten the same here. Flippin' bastards. Alright, and now we're gonna go to the rest stop here. And we're gonna try to take this leftmost one. Because, oh man, that's gonna be... oh... That's not gonna be easy because of those parked cars. Let me see if I can actually sleep here. Can I do it? Is it possible to do it here? No? Is it not a sleeping area? Oh look, another truck, that's cool. And they actually do park, that's cool. It is indicated as a sleeping area, as a rest area. So, what's going on? No, it's not telling me I can sleep. So, is it because of my trailer? I don't understand it. There we go. Okay. So, lights off. That, that, and rest. Lovely jubbly. Well, thank you very much for watching. We're going to continue next time. It's a nice, lovely day. And I'll see you then. Bye-bye.